The pressure is on, and opening game nerves can often take hold. Match day one for these two nations here at the 2024 UEFA European Championship. Who will be first to make their mark on the group? This confrontation is live, coming up on EA TV. Hello and welcome, and I can tell you it was a dry walk to the gantry today, no rain in sight. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And today it's the opening game in this particular group at the Euros. It's Denmark against England. Well, it's vital that you don't have an off day in these group games. Consistency is key to progressing further in the tournament. I'm looking forward to a hard-fought contest here today, Derek. And the starting lineup for Denmark. Kasper Schmeichel begins in goal. Andreas Christensen starts alongside Simon Kerr in central defence. Christian Eriksen plays alongside Pierre Emil Heubier in central midfield. And the tactical configurate. And the alarm bells are ringing. Could it make it 1 0? Maybe not quite warmed up. Well, that should have been the opener. He has to hit the target from there. Well, last time out at the Euros, England fell at the final hurdle, losing in the final itself at the hands of Italy on penalties. But you look at the squad, you look at where England should be, and we're led to believe, Stuart, that this could well be England's Euros. Absolutely. I think England are a very good team. They've got a manager that has failed in the very biggest games. That's where he's got to improve. And you mentioned that game against Italy in 2020. That's a game they should have won. They should have beaten France at the World Cup as well. Gareth Southgate has to get this right. England have got some great players. They should be favourites for this tournament. Well, if we're in the business of identifying potential match winners, we've got to look to Phil Foden. Stuart, what might we see from him in this game? Well, he's a fantastic striker of the ball. Well, he can generate so much pace, and when he strikes it cleanly, the ball starts to... Oh, Stuart, they might be onto something. And it goes! That will do nicely for starters. First goal of the game. Well, just look how exposed the keeper is. He's got absolutely no chance there, but they do take it well, you have to say. And back underway, 1-0 it is. Christian Nurgard. Alexander Ba. Well, on you go, says the referee. Advantage. Just the challenge that was required. Stones. Walker now. Alexander Arnold. Now with Bellingham. England looking dangerous. Is it going to be? And fine goalkeeping. An unforced error, you've got to say. Stones. Kane. Bukayo Saka. Walker. A chance to whip it in. And it's gone behind for the corner. <laughs> Playing it in. Emphasis on the clearance, a good one. There's a cutback. And there it is! A two-goal cushion now. 
And they just need to keep the concentration. Well, just admire the pass here. As we can see, Foden makes exactly the right decision with that final ball. And the finish from Kane is excellent. He times his run, he finds that bit of space, and he was never going to miss that. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Oh, and a perfect ball now. How about this? And no problems at all for the keeper. Vestergaard. Rasmus Hoylun. Went in strongly, decisively. Moving into the advanced position. Well, this is looking promising. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. And then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace. The keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike. Three goals without reply. Pavier. Alexander Ba. Well, he went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw in. Ba. Well, using the space really well, you've got to say. Christian Eriksen might fancy it. Could still be dangerous. Must be! Oh, not to be! Stopping a certain goal! Phil Foden. Trippier now. Mark Buehi. Oh, lovely ball. And the flag does go up offside. Declan Rice. Buehi. Trippier now. Trippier. Oh, really good header. Really fine goalkeeping. Corner coming up. And there's the delivery. Well, not away properly. And lining it up. Marvellous anticipation. Walker. He has teammates around him. Still not clear. And well, they can't quite take advantage in the end. And that is how to beat your opponent. Released it nicely. Well, the defending needed to be a bit more switched on than that. Timely intervention. Alexander Arnold. Now with Bellingham. A sloppy pass. Jonas Vint. Christian Eriksen now. And Denmark struggling to keep it.
Promising from Ericsson, but the danger averted for now. And Bellingham. And the keeper more than equal to the task. Now the stoppage time situation. One minute here. Pabier. Christian Eriksen now. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. And a vibrant and effective display from Bukayo Saka. One that you've enjoyed, Stuart. Well, he's looked sharp, hasn't he? Yes, he scored a good goal, but his general play has been excellent. I've enjoyed watching him today. Underway in the second half. And after such a lopsided first 45 minutes, is it possible to think they could turn this around? Really good challenge. Hey, surely! A fine block. Oh, he's blocked it! Who's going to get on the end of it? Just a matter of thumping it away. And firing it towards goal on the volley. Could have gone in. Well, that's a big chance. Yes, it's on the volley, but I think he should score there. Fabier. Well, no point in stopping play. Advantage with them. Pressing like that will help the cause. Well, under no real pressure as he brought the ball down. Trippier. Foden. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. And support available. Oh, great attacking play. Terrific block. And he stopped them in their tracks. Difficult to stop him. He's protecting it well. Wonderful chance. And a goal! He's put it away. A celebratory moment. Well, just look how exposed the keeper is. He's got absolutely no chance there, but they do take it well, you have to say. Well, that's a tale of four goals in this match now. Three, one it is. Declan Rice and Bellingham and take it away throw in for Denmark getting in there to take it away Christian Nurgard Foden giving it a try and keeping it out well those stats back up what we've been watching it's been a really one-sided game and it's far too easy for them to open up this defence this could turn into a rout and they're raiding again here attack after attack Good work from England to win back possession. Vestergaard. 
Christian Eriksen now. Christian Nurgaard. Moving the ball forwards, how creative can they be? Free kick awarded then by the referee. And they will make the change now. And he whips it in. Well, he made great contact with that one, but the goalkeeper had his own ideas. It's a corner. It hasn't come to very much. Now can they counter clinically? And Harry Kane might do damage. Can he take the chance? Well, it looks so promising, but a goal kicked the outcome. looks more than decent and it's opening up well opportunity missed just when we wondered if things were going to change for them well this should have been a goal and boy do they need it stones trippier now And he's in. Oh, but denied. Full credit to the keeper. Well, of course he should score, but what a save that is. So the corner played into the box. Not the best clearance. John Stones in position. Oh, that's a fine save. Unable to get himself back onside here. Well, he was always going to be offside. That was the wrong option. Opportunity here. And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. And there's the delivery, struggling to get it away. Well, sometimes they come off for you, sometimes they don't, Stuart. Well, he didn't get the technique right there, and as a result, he mistimes the contact on the ball. Well, it wasn't first-class distribution. Christensen. Schmeichel. Ten minutes to go then. Just the challenge that was required. And foul it is then. So a personnel... Change then. Well, how can we put it? Not a free kick that's going to live long in the memory. Well, how we can put it, it's a poor effort, poor technique, 
probably the wrong decision as well. That needed to go into the box. Foden. Well-timed tackle. Let's take another look, and you have to say the defending is so poor, that's far too easy. The keeper had no chance there. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Vestergaard. And so into the final five minutes. Kea. Christian Eriksen now. Good ball over the top. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Well, the fans want to see a shot. And there it is, a goal. But will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at their best. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. He skips past his marker, and that gives him the space to get his shot away. Excellent stuff from him. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Well, lovely work to get past his man. Trying to craft something. Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. Jonas Vint. And Christensen has it. Vestergaard. Christensen. On the ball, Yannick Vestergaard. Kea. Skov Olsen. Nice looking pass. Sound piece of goalkeeping. And there goes the final whistle. Very acceptable from an England point of view. A victory here. Stuart, your thoughts on their performance? Well, Derek, they were dominant in most aspects of the game, particularly in that midfield area, and they also looked threatening in the top third of the pitch. It's a really good result for them. Well, we're highlighting him for a reason, Stuart. He's put in a really authoritative performance here. Well, he scored a good goal, and if I was his coach, I certainly wouldn't be worried by him missing a couple of chances. The fact is, he was a constant threat today.